Good morning, guys. Happy, happy Saturday. We made it. Motivation Monday, Health Tuesday, Hope Day Wednesday, Fired Up Friday. And then today is Saturday, and I'm coming to you live from my amazing office. Just kidding. Uh, it's my car. I'm sitting outside the gym waiting for it to open. It's almost 6 o'clock in the morning, and that's the story of my life, waiting for the gym to open, open, open. But anyways, I love to get up early. I love to get up before the world. Today is leg day, a great day. Leg days, always consult your physician, make sure you're safe to do exercise. But training legs and your back are great things. Number one, when you train your back, it helps build up the muscles around your spine and uh, makes your back more healthy. And then your legs, when you train your legs, it releases testosterone and growth hormone. And it really helps, to me, it helps burn body fat. So today is my cheat day. Uh, I intermittent fast all the way up until 2 o'clock, and then I eat like a monster. Getting ready for the Mayweather and Conor McGregor fights tonight. I'm going to eat some chips, I'm eat some pizza, whatever my beautiful wife makes. But anyways, I want to come to you guys and say thank you. This is video log number eight. Uh, it was a long week, right? We're building an international brand from the ground up, brick by brick. Like I said, we're not fronting like we're making a bunch of money. I'm going to show you how I'm taking it from zero to hero. I'm going to show you the ups, the downs, the trials and tribulations. It's not easy to build a business. But if you put in work, your business will expand. We had a phenomenal week this week. So many great things happened. We hit 1,000 downloads on our podcast within two weeks. I think that's fantastic because our mission is to impact someone's life every single day. So I want to thank you for that. I appreciate you. We had a ton of prospects uh, for individual success coaching, which was phenomenal. And then we also have one prospect to go speak to their sales team, which was awesome this week. So that's fantastic. So having left my corporate job, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we already have clients coming on board. I already have speaking gigs set up. We have ones locked in, ready to go. Uh, Royce to Riches, the biography of the fall and rise of a spiritual man will be out very, very soon. So we'll get that up and running. We're going to get you guys involved with that. We're going to have a book release party. But I want to come to you today and talk real and authentic, real and authentic. So I know I'm a motivational speaker. I know I uh, have a podcast all about motivation, but if you ever run into a motivational speaker, success coach, life coach, whatever, and they act like they have no problems, run, run, run as fast as you can because Johnny V is going to be real as all get out because yesterday was a long day. It was a long week. I haven't gotten hardly any sleep. I've been grinding, building this international brand because that's what I choose to do. It's my choice. When I say there's 24 hours in a day and I choose to use 18, that's what I choose to do. I don't impose that on anybody else. But I don't want to be a coach that's telling people to do things that I wouldn't do myself. That is the worst type of coach in the world. If you ever see a personal trainer that doesn't take care of themselves, run. You see a doctor that's not healthy, run. I'm a success coach <clears throat> that works very, very hard to prove to my clients that when they give me an excuse, I can show them what I do in my life. But anyways, I screwed up yesterday, guys. I did. I had a long week. I was exhausted when I got home, extremely exhausted. My wife has dinner ready for me. Didn't even thank her for that. She did a bunch of stuff this week that I should have thanked her for. She stepped up. And guess what I did? I started blaming her and pointing out all the things that she didn't do this week. What the hell is wrong with me? I started pointing out all the things she didn't do this week. And you know why I did that? You know why I did that? Because I was feeling a little bit insecure myself. I was feeling down. I was feeling frustrated. And I was tired. And I took it out on her. And unbelievable. Guess what? It happens all the time. So now you know what I need to do? Is I need to suck it up this morning. When I get done from the gym, I need to apologize. She's still going to be mad at me. I'm sure she's going to be mad. She's going to be frustrated. Um, I let my uh, emotions get the best of me. I said things that I shouldn't have said. And now I probably ruined the whole weekend. But the great thing is, is that instead of trying to not take responsibility for it, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to hit the reset button today. I'm going to do the best I can to apologize and try to repair what I did damage on. Now, I don't want you to get frustrated. So what happens is, is we all get frustrated, we all get tired, and we all screw up. Make sure you have the ability to hit the reset button, like I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to be the not the bigger person. She didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to go apologize and I'm going to make sure this is right. I'm going to do the best I can today to make this right. Okay. It's okay to get frustrated. It's okay to get emotional. But remember when things go wrong, hit the reset button. Today is Saturday. I'm going to hit the reset button. I'm going to work to get us back on track. Will it take 24 hours? Yes. But I can't let my emotion and frustration get the best of me. I pointed out everything she did wrong and I didn't point out one thing she did right. She did so many things right this week. 
and I appreciate her and I love her so much. But I wanted to come to you guys with that message this morning that nobody's perfect. Just because I do a motivational podcast every morning because I have a success system that I wrote and that I follow every single day, I screw up too all the time. And by, you know, like right now, my outfit is really funky and I feel really bad for people that I go in there. But guess what? I don't care when I go to the gym. I go to train. I don't know if that's... I guess I could wash my shirt. But anyways, okay, so let's have a great Saturday, guys. Get fired up. Get motivated. Keep the love in your relationship. And if you screw up, just say you're sorry. That's what I wanted to bring to you today. Just say I'm sorry. Be the bigger person. Don't let it spiral into this uh, spiral that just takes your whole marriage, relationship, or partnership out. I love you guys. Have a great day. Hit the reset button. Be happy. Take responsibility for your life. And apologize to people and forgive people. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a wonderful day.